With an expected cold front popping through a little fresh snow the next few days, be sure to layer up. But even in the frigid temperatures, there are always awesome winter events taking place. Let's check in with Adam Maxwell, our Summit County correspondent, to get the latest on current conditions and see what's happening up there. Adam, good morning. I hear there's some snow forts and other activities taking place. Yes, good morning, Jessica. I'm over here at Keystone Resort. And just like you said, the snow forts are officially opening, which is so exciting out here. And yes, we're getting some fresh snow too. In just a little bit, we're gonna hear from one of the Keystone PR peeps, Max Winter. He's gonna let us know all about the fun things, about some of the terrain, the conditions. But right now, we're gonna check out an exclusive piece over at Copper Mountain. I was lucky enough to go over there, talk with some international, some local athletes. It was quite the treat. Let's go ahead and check in over at Copper Mountain for a quick recap of the U.S. Grand Prix in the Visa Big Air. Crazy, it's been five years since Copper has hosted this event. It's the Toyota U.S. Grand Prix in the Visa Big Air, and there's athletes from all around the world out here, including some local athletes. We're going to get out there, talk to some of them, and hear what they're thinking about this year's event. This is all happening right here exclusively on Mountain TV. I love coming back to Colorado. My whole career has pretty much been here at Copper, you know, with USA, say, and being able to come here at least once a year or so and compete is pretty awesome. Yeah, I remember being some of the younger girls on the circuit, and now I'm one of the few older ladies out there, and it's awesome. It's such a treat to be able to see the same thing that I went through with these girls, and they're all so much fun to hang out and ride with. I'm super stoked with where our community is right now. Well, first of all, congratulations, Marcus Cleveland, first place here at the Visa Big Air. How are you feeling right now? Um, feeling amazing. Uh, the jump was running really nice today. Uh, practice was really good. Learned a uh, nolly frontside double 14 with the tail grab in practice, which was, I was really stoked about. And uh, to put that down in the finals, uh, yeah, felt really good. on the podium with Burke, it's the first time, and the first podium, so I'm super stoked. Not many people get to have all their best friends and their family with them, and I have my very best friend and my family with me everywhere I go, and it's awesome. I learned that one last year. Um, yeah, it's just super fun to do, and I figured I've done enough uh, spin to win tricks in the last couple years, so it felt good to just take a break. and switch it up, do something I'm really proud of and just have fun with it. I had so much fun riding here today and the pipe was so perfect, so, and everyone, everyone killed it. Copper Mountain. Thanks to all of our athletes for talking with us. Congratulations to all the winners, and we'll see you next time. Well, we're back here at Keystone. I'm with Max Winter. I gotta say, I love your last name, Max. One of my favorite seasons. How are you, Max? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Great to see you out here. Yeah, so tell us a little about uh, the fresh snow we got falling right now, and there's more to come. People are gonna love this at Keystone. Oh yeah, it's already a winter wonderland out here. We've had five inches in the past week. We're looking at three to seven inches just today. It's been really amazing between the snow and the hard work of our mountain teams. We've already been able to get all three of our peaks open. 62 trails, two bowls. We've got a little bit of something for everyone, something for the whole family. So we can't wait to see you out here. That's huge, and I heard we've got 20 out of 20 lifts already open, and the bowl's open too, that's amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. We've also got the first section of our A51 terrain park open, the alley, which is lappable from the A51 chair, so plenty of options with medium features for everybody that wants to hit the park out there. 
Yeah, I was going to say the A51 Terrain Park is amazing and there's something there for everybody if you're a beginner, intermediate and advanced too. Absolutely. We've got features for everyone. It's got a progressive layout as we open up more throughout the season. So it'll really be something whether it's your first time in a park or you're an experienced pro, we've got something for everyone. And right before I let you go, there's some really fun events happening, especially for bringing in the new year. There's going to be fireworks, right? Absolutely. So starting just this Friday, we are so excited to be bringing back the world's largest mountaintop snow fort for the first time in over two years. Over 10,000 square foot design of snow and ice with ice slides, an ice cave and features for the whole family. And then on top of that, next uh, on New Year's, we're doing fireworks right at the top of Durkham with a torchlight parade coming right down here that you can watch right from River Run Village. That is huge. That's so exciting. And that's some fun for the whole family. Now, where can people find the snow forts. I've been looking around yeah. here. I must have to take a lift up to get them, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can access the world's largest mountaintop snow fort either with an epic pass, lift ticket, or a scenic lift ticket. You just have to take the gondola right up there and you can walk right onto it. And it's even though we're opening, grand opening this Friday, it's already open. So you can already get in there and explore and have all the fun. Max, thank you so much. And if people are watching this at home and they're super excited, what's a good website for them to go to? Yeah, you can go to keystoneresort.com and get all the latest on everything fun happening on our village and our mountain. All right, Max. Well, there's people starting to pile in. It's going to be a beautiful morning out here. We're going to go ahead and send it back to our studio in uh, Denver. Jessica, back to you. Adam, okay, this makes you want to just dive right into the snow fort like a kid in a magical winter wonderland. What a blast. A lot of fun for people of all ages. You know, I think I just might need to take a road trip up there and check it out. Yeah, Jessica, Thanks, you got to come on up here. Come see Max. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. You guys have fun. What a fun list of activities, fireworks, a snow fort, a mountaintop tubing, the perfect way for the entire family to get out and enjoy a little holiday season adventure. Stay with us. We have a lot more coming up right after the break with another look at weather, traffic, and we'll check in with Alan in Steamboat and our team in Vail. Mountain Mornings will be right back.